In this video, we're going to do an oil change on a first-generation Nissan Versa. First thing is you're going to open the hood and access the engine. Make sure you put the prop rod on. Now we're going to locate the oil fill, which is right here. I personally like to take the cap off and I put it where the latch goes so that way I know there's no oil in the vehicle and not to run it. And now I'm ready to lift the vehicle. You can use jack with jack stands for safety. And let's bring her up and drain the oil. So once you're under the vehicle, the oil pan drain plug is located on the passenger side. You'll see the drive belt. Look at that pan that's located right there and you'll see a drain plug on it. It's a 14 millimeter socket or wrench and we'll loosen it up. Make sure you have your catch bucket ready or pan. That's gonna catch all that oil coming out. I like to let the car drain until all the oil's gone. You don't need to do it just in 10 minutes or five minutes. You want all the oil out. Now before I replace the drain plug back in, now that the oil has drained out, I'm checking over the condition of the drain plug gasket. Um, it looks okay. Always recommend replacing them. If you have one, replace it. If not, uh, and it's damaged split, and if it's rubber seal and it's torn, you must get a new one. Thread it in by hand always. Just gonna bottom it out, and then we're gonna torque it to the factory spec, which is 25 foot-pounds. So I've got a 14 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. Now with some parts cleaner, I'm just gonna spray that area and make sure I get rid of all that residual oil, and I'll wipe it dry. So now we have the front plastic shield here, the engine guard, and that's where the oil filter is located in the front of the engine. So I'm just gonna take this down. Previous, looks like someone broke the two bolts in there. I tried to clean the threads up on that. But we do have two body clips over here, and I'm gonna use my body clip tool, and I'm gonna push it and pull the first one out, and the second one, and we'll just take that shield and we'll move it aside and grab that filter and loosen it up. So now that we have the splash shield out of the way, you can see exactly where the oil filter is. So I'm going to take an oil filter wrench and I'm going to loosen this up. I've got my catch basin in the front here, ready to get it. Just need to loosen enough so I can turn it by hand. And I'm going to let that drip for a little bit. And while that drips, I'm going to prep my new oil filter. So now with the new oil filter, I'm gonna prep it with the oil before I install it. Let it settle down. And then I'm just gonna to keep topping it off. And what that does is it preps it from a hard start, meaning no oil coming out of the filter. And then I'll just take a little bit and put it on the clean oil right on that gasket. Get that ready to install. Clean the surface now on the engine. Now with a rag, I'm just gonna take and clean that surface right where that gasket sits on that filter. I wanna make sure there's no debris left behind. Sometimes the old oil gasket for the oil filter is stuck on there. You wanna make sure that comes off, especially if it's an area where you can't see. Everyone's been there once or twice. A lot of dirt in the area, so make sure it doesn't sit where that seal's gonna be. Now I could take my new filter that I already prepped. I've got oil on the seal. I'm gonna lose a little bit, it's not a big deal. Once it's snug, we're going to turn it about another whole quarter turn. Now that that's sealed up, I'm just going to clean it, get rid of all that oil, make sure it doesn't come down on the ground. And now we can reinstall our splash shield. Bring it up. You might have to put your hand behind on the other plastic. Now I'm just going to take a funnel. I'm ready to add the oil. This particular car takes 4.3 quarts of 5W30. All right, so now we put 4.3 quarts in of 5W30. I'm gonna put the cover on, and I'm gonna start this up, make sure the oil light goes out, and then I'm gonna shut it down, let it sit for about 10 minutes, pull the dipstick, wipe it, put it back in, and we'll make sure it's at the proper level. All right, so now the car is sat for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna pull the dipstick, wipe it clean. What we're looking for is we want that oil so yeah, the H is for too high, basically, and L is for low. We want it right between those two dots. That's the perfect level. And always check your oil with the engine cold, meaning 
it sat for at least two hours, or first thing in the morning before you start it up. That's the true level of the oil. Oh, look at that, we're right there at the top dot. Perfect. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.